You know, a dual console boat like this new Everglades 340 DC is really the boat most boaters need. It offers all the attributes of a blue water boat. A deep V, soft riding hull, robust construction, self bailing cockpit, you name it. But it offers much more amenity than your typical center console. You really can have the best of both worlds. Stick around and we'll show you how. There's no better place to start showing the dual personality to the 340DC than here in the bow lounge. Check out the anchor locker. It's deep and wide and holds a windlass and it's perfect for the offshore fisherman or deep water cruiser. Yet, the bow lounge itself is comfortable with pleated upholstery, recessed speakers, drink holders, and a table that will deploy. In fact, there's a shade that provides cover for this whole thing that sets up just like that. So after the bow, we've got a split cabin arrangement inside the consoles of the 340DC. To starboard, there's a head, provides all the privacy that you need. On the port side, there's a comfortable berth, complete with a flat screen TV, shelves, storage, and other amenities. So that brings us to the middle of the boat, and it's hard to know where to begin describing all the features that are found here. I guess we'll start with the top and the windshield. It's beautifully integrated together with the hard top, the windshield, very structurally sound, didn't rack or rattle during our run offshore today, and the windshield provides great protection. In fact, touch a button and it slides closed to seal off the whole aft area of the boat from the weather and the waves. We've got great seating over here on the port side. It's convertible. You lift it up and you can sit two crew members sitting forward, pull it out, and it's a sun lounge for facing fore and aft. On the starboard side, we've got a double wide helm seat. Both have armrests, stainless steel destroyer steering wheel, big screen Garmin displays. It's a wonderful, wonderful functional and operative space. So this Everglades 340 DC is fitted with a Seakeeper gyro stabilizer. Simply hit the button and it makes the boat stable as the dock, quite frankly. There's probably no better way to showcase the dual personality of the Everglades 340 dual console than to examine the features and benefits of the aft cockpit. On the port side, we see a luxurious L-shaped lounge served by a natural wood grain table. It's a slab of wood with beautiful grain and it rises up and down. Inside, you'll find storage and access to all your electrical switches and breakers. It's phenomenal. Here on the starboard side, we've got a two-tiered wet bar. It's complete with a sink, storage, slide this lid open, there's a grill. Access to your trash can is right here, just where you need it. It's really phenomenal. So when it's time to switch to fishing mode, the Everglades 340DC doesn't disappoint. Starting with the hard top, there's rocket launchers and optional outriggers to help you catch a big one. Rod holders, port and starboard, a tremendous live well. The inside is painted blue to calm your bait. There's a tremendous fish box across the transom. It's fitted with dividers inside. And if you make that trophy catch, slide her in via this dive door cockpit amenities are bolstered by the shade. It's electric, hit the button, it rolls out, shade covers the cockpit. You know, there's many more items we could talk about aboard this Everglades 340 dual console. There's a lovely aft seat that folds out, deploys away when not needed, and the access to the water and the engines via the transom is just tremendous. To find the full story, go to BoatingMag.com. Until next time, I'm Editor-in-Chief Kevin Falvey.